let's look at what happens if I have square units. Because a lot of times when you measure things, you're not going to end up with some simple thing where all you have to do is uh, just convert one unit to another. Never. That would make too much sense. So it's much easier to do them. Let's talk about what happens if you have squared units. If I have something like feet squared, a lot of times when I do measurements of a, a wall, you do it in square units, anything that has two dimensions, essentially. What happens if I need to go from three feet squared to yard squared? Now, from a conversion standpoint, if you have a calculator that does it, usually I don't talk about it, but I am here, just to show you where the, that the answers match. I'm going from feet squared to yard squared, so I'd type in three, and then I'd go to wherever your conversion is. It's right here on my calculator. I'm going to go down. Anything with a square is area. Anything with a third is volume, by the way. And I'm going from feet squared, so I'm going to type that in. So it's going from feet squared, and then I click down to, what do I want, yard squared? Yard squared, right there. So three feet squared to yard squared, I'm going to get 0.33333, so one third. That's what I'm predicted to get. The big difference between this and anything else is that I just need to square the conversion factor. So I have 3 feet squared over 1. Now you can't see squared units on this, but you can see that for 1 foot, or for 3 feet, you get 1 yard. So I'm going to still use that. Remember, feet need to be on the bottom, so 3 feet for 1 yard. However, this is feet squared. Uh, but this is just feet, so I need to square this entire term, which is really simple. You just do 1 squared is 1 and 3 squared is 9. So what that changes it into is 3 feet squared over 1 times 1 yard squared over 3, or sorry, 9 feet squared. So you make sure you square the number and then just add the square onto the unit. So I do 3 times 1 over 1 times 9, so it would be 3 over 9. So that would be 1 third, and since these cancel, yard squared. It's pretty simple to do square units. Cubed units, or to the third power units, are just as easy. On the calculator really fast, you would type in the number. You're going to go to convert. Uh, we're going to do a volume this time. To the third power is volume because there's three dimensions to it. We go into inches cubed. And then I need to convert that to feet cubed, just like this. And it says it should be 0 0.0868, which is insanely small. But I'm going to go ahead and write it anyway. If I change it to a fraction, 5 over 576. What that looks like from a, a, a setting it up in a nice way where you don't have to just do a conversion on the calculator. I would do 15 inches to the third power. Same thing here. I don't have any conversion that goes from cubed in or inches cubed, but I do have one uh, have one that goes from inches to feet. So I need to do 12 inches over one foot. But see how the inches are to the third power? I need to do the same thing here. Except this time, instead of by two, I do it by three. So what that changes this into is 15 inches to the third over one stays the same. Then I do one foot to the third power, because 1 to the third power is 1. Then you do 12 to the third power, and you get 1728 inches to the third power. Now that I have that, the inches cancel out, and I'm left with 15 divided by 1728, and I get that weird thing again. Seem familiar? Fraction decimal. 5 over 576, just like it says. So anytime you have cubed units or uh, squared units, make sure that you change the conversion factor by that amount, or by whatever it says to do, and then you'll be fine. Everything else should work out really nicely for you, and I hope you found this helpful.